people it's May the 4th and I've woken up this morning it's what half 10 now and I'm going metal detecting yeah so yeah let's get moving whoom whoom oh sh oh, I think I fixed it yes bye bye okay so I made it um I mean this little bit here It's lovely. And um, I'm using my Garrett 80 Pro. Um, batteries fully charged. And it's in custom. Iron discrimination is on a 34. Um, sensitivity, I normally have that set to below max. And ground balance it as and when needed right let's see if we can find something right so I've been digging around this little bit here for about an hour now just finding trash 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 but while I was looking around I noticed like I'll show you like that there this bit of an oyster shell here. Yeah. So I thought, oh, Roman. So I went and looked around a bit more. Another bit of an oyster shell. Um, let's go around here. There you go. Another bit of an oyster shell. And so I did, I did like this here, this here. I got loads of rubbish around here, all the way down here, and I started thinking, oh, sh you know what? Someone's just thrown a load of oyster shells in a dump, and then I dug down in this little hole here, and I've just found a Roman coin. I know it's Roman because look how thick it is. It's definitely Roman. I can't see anything on it yet. I'm not. I'm not going to rub it, I'll clean it when I get home, but yeah, first find of the day, and um, yeah, it's a Roman coin, right, let's see if I can find something else here, bye! Okay, so, not far from where I just found the Roman coin, um, I just dug up this, um, at first I thought maybe it's a button it's about I don't know it's what how deep was it dun, 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 five inches so five inches deep and so yeah I thought oh, it's gonna be a button it's got something written I can just sort of see something around the edge um, then I turned it over, expecting to find a middle bit, and there's a bit up the top, like a clasp. So it could be like, it could be a Roman badge. I hope so. Anyway, I'll clean it up when I get home, and I'll show you. Okay, on to the next one. Yeah. Right, so I've moved on from a dip down there. I've 
come to a dip down here. Just started doing this dip. And I found this thimble. I think it's um yeah, it's machine made. It's in good nick though. It's probably 18th. 18th century. Cool. Let's see if we can find something else. Right, not long after the thimble, I just found this bit of lead. Now, I don't know if you can see that. It's got some sort of pattern on it. And then on the back, I think this might be a lead button. Um, could be. It could be. A, I don't think it's a weight for a dress. It's too small. But I'll clean it up when I get home and we'll see what it is, mate. Okay. Just found another coin and it is let me clean it. Oh, I can't even see who that is. Hang on. Oh, I can't get a date off it. Um I think it's uh probably a George the first Second, even. Oh, it's damaged as well. It's pretty gone, man. Well, I just found this uh, little buckle, which is okay, but right next to it, I found this awesome piece of pottery, man. Not that I know much about pottery, but yeah, it looks cool. Okay, buckle number two just found intact. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Nice. Very nice, mate. Okay, right, so I just got this other signal. It was 68, 70, a bit like the Roman coins. And I was thinking, oh, it's gonna be Roman. But, it turns out, it's a musket ball. Yay! Just what I've always wanted. Another one. Right, just found another thimble. It's about four inches deep. Someone squished it. Yeah, man. Another thimble. Yay! Another thimble. Another squashed thimble. It's awesome. Oh, I'm well happy with that, man. <laughs> oh, I love it. Right, let's see if we can find another one of these babies. Wow, I'm in shock. So yeah, I've done that bit down there. A few Roman things. Shells kind of scattered everywhere nearly. Um, got down to this little pondy bit here. Thought I'd have a little go around this. And we have a silver hammered <laughs> yes check it out whoa I don't really want to rub it too much I'll clean it when I go it's all there it's all intact 
Let's, um, let's see what it is. Well, as you can see, it's a long cross. And I do believe that's an Edward. Yeah. yeah, man. I'll clean it up better when I get home. Not going to mess with it too much now. But yeah, I'm surprised where I am to find one of these. And as you can see, it was um, five inches, five inches down in the ground. And this land has never been farmed, nothing, it just sits there. I think they cut the grass, obviously, every now and then. But yeah, man. A hammy. Sweet. Right, I'm going to go and have a drink and um, I'll carry on. Right, about uh, four inches down, I found this bit of lead. No, I don't know what it is. Maybe someone knows what it is. Let's get it in the right light. That's how big it is. It's got a hole in that end. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's curved off both ends. I don't know if you can see it that well. But it's perfectly rounded and a hole going all the way through it solid bit of lead maybe it's some roman thing for something to do something with thingy thing thing maybe someone knows out there what it is appreciate it if you could let me know because i haven't a clue but i'm assuming it's old why would someone make something that big with lead Unless it was for something important, like holding the money down on a desk. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, let us know if you know what it is. Cheers, man. Bye. Hello. Right, it's coming to the end of the day. Um, sun's about to go down. It's about seven o'clock. It's um, it's actually Star Wars Day today. So happy Star Wars Day. I think it's Star Wars Day, isn't it? Um, May the 4th be with you. Well, I've had some force. Um, found my silver armor, found a Roman coin. I think I found another one actually, a half a one, which is odd. But yeah, um, I might come back here again. I'll just show you this area quickly. So, like, you've got a river that runs along there, and then we're just in this like little square bit. And there's these, you probably can't notice it, but this drops down, and the grass disappears, and then it climbs back up. And in these dips are where I'm finding all the oysters and Roman stuff. And there's another one right at the back near them trees up there. So yeah, uh, not a bad sight. Um, probably come back here and give it another bash. But I need some food and I'll put this on uh, YouTube when I edited it. I'm so tired.